Hello! This video will serve as a guide to setting up a basic Minecraft server on FreeBSD. Before setting up the server, choose between a dedicated device or a virtual machine running FreeBSD. A dedicated server will be much more dependable, but requires a device completely dedicated to running the server. This option is great if looking for a server with full-time dependability, or running the server on a virtual machine, which will allow the user to run a server without a dedicated device, as well as giving the user more control over when the server is running. If the device or virtual machine is already running FreeBSD, continue on to the next step. Otherwise, consider one of the foundation's guides, which I've listed below in the video description. Start by booting FreeBSD on the device that will be running the Minecraft server. Log into a guest account. Then, use the su command to emulate the root user. The FreeBSD ports collection will be needed for the next few steps. Start by fetching the collection with the command port snap fetch. This process may take some time, so we'll skip ahead to the next step. After it finishes, use the command port snap extract. This will extract the compressed snapshot that was downloaded in the previous step. This will also take some time. The Minecraft server port will vastly simplify setting up a FreeBSD server. To install, use the command cd slash user slash ports slash games slash minecraft dash server slash. Two ampersands, make install clean. This will begin the process of installing the port. Use the enter key to accept and progress through the prompts. No changes will need to be made to the default setup. Once again, this video will skip the majority of this process. Once installation is complete, attempt to launch the server with the minecraft-server command. This will fail, but will generate a text file to be edited. Use vi slash user slash local slash etc slash minecraft dash server slash eula dot txt to edit the file. Use the arrow keys to navigate to the e of false. Use the x key to delete that word. Then, with the equal sign highlighted, type the A key, and then true. Escape, colon, WQ, and then enter will save the changes to the file. Now, try the Minecraft-server command again. While the server is technically started, it will not be usable until we set up a few more things. Exit the server with the stop command. Install wget with the command package install wget. Type y, then enter to proceed. wget will allow us to find the device's external IP address with the command wget dash q capital O dash http colon slash slash wtf is my ip dot com slash text. The returned string is the device's external IP. Make sure to write this down. The next step should only be done if running the server on a virtual machine. If so, exit the instance, 
powering it off fully. Navigate to settings. network settings, and then switch to a bridge adapter. This will ensure that the FreeBSD instance will be given its own unique IP address. Once complete, relaunch the virtual machine. After rebooting FreeBSD, use the ifconfig command to find the internal IP address. This is the address given to the device by the router. In this instance, it is 192.168.1.184. Network traffic will now need to be forwarded through the router to the device. The setup for each router will be unique, so check the brand and make of the router you will be using. Start by visiting port4.com, scroll down and select the router brand. Skip the add page, and then select the specific router make. On this page will be a guide on how to port forward for that unique router. While each router will be different, the key things to bear in mind are to use the internal IP address found in the last step as the port forwarding location, and that both TCP and UDP will need to be forwarded on the 25565 port. This is what a Verizon router will look like once set up. After saving the changes to the router, return to the FreeBSD device and start the server again using the minecraft-server command. Next, open up the Minecraft game client on a separate device, select multiplayer, proceed through the content warning, and then select direct connect. Input the external IP found with the wget command. In this case, I will enter 98.113.167.227. Finally, click Join Server. As the client connects, you'll notice the server will give information showing who joined the game, while the client will open up into the live game. This is a basic unmodified survival server that you can play solo or with friends. You can also use server commands on the FreeBSD device to alter game rules and conditions. Let's start by changing the time today with slash time set 11,000. As you can see, the game will instantly update with the changes made. We can also use slash weather rain, which will toggle a downpour in the game. Congratulations, you are now running a Minecraft server entirely on FreeBSD.